The seasons are changing, and you need to use your dice to craft comforts for your cute and cuddly woolen creatures so they can stay warm and cozy all winter long. Welcome back to Kids Planning. I'm Peyton, and this is Jared. And today we're going to teach you how to play Creature Comforts. In Creature Comforts, players take on the roles of woodland creatures, preparing their cozy homes for the winter. The game takes place over multiple rounds, where players will be assigning workers to different areas of the board and using dice to collect resources that they can use to buy improvement and comfort cards, which will score them points. And the player with the highest score at the end of the game wins. We're using the Kickstarter version of the game for this tutorial. If you're playing with the regular version, your components might look a little different, but the game plays the same way. To set up the game, put the board in the middle of the table and put the river dial in its spot. Rotate it randomly, but make sure the lines match up with the notches. Separate the forest and meadow cards, and put them each in their own stack with spring on the bottom, then summer, then fall on top. The forest and meadow should each have two fall, three summer, and three spring. If you want to play a shorter game, take out a random summer and spring from each stack, so there's only six cards in each. Then flip the stacks over so that spring is face up on top, and put them in their spaces at the top of the board. Forest on the left, and meadow on the right. Set out the supply of all the resources. Then shuffle the comfort cards, then put four of them in the owl's nest spaces at the bottom of the board. Then put the deck next to the board. Next, shuffle the square improvement cards and put one face up in each of the six ladder slots. And put the rest of the deck face down above those. Shuffle the traveler deck and put it face down in the end. Pick a first player and give them the first player worm token. And then give them the four white village dice. Then each player picks a color and takes their home board, workers, cottages, and two family dice. Put your cottages on the four spaces of your home board, then everyone draw three comfort cards. You'll keep two of them and discard the third one face up next to the draw pile, but don't show anyone the ones you keep. Now it's time to play. The game is played over seasons, and the rounds are tracked with these valley cards. At the end of each round, you'll discard the top card from each stack, and when the cards are all gone, the game is over. Each round, players will be placing their workers in these locations around the board, and then trying to match the dice to the locations they're in to get the resources from that location. So if I was in this location, I would need to match a one and a two so I could get an apple and a yarn. Then you'll use the resources you collected to craft comfort cards and build improvements. In some places around the board, you'll see this symbol. This means any good, which are wood, stone, fruit, mushrooms, yarn, and grain. Coins, stories, and lessons learned tokens are not goods. So if you have a worker in this spot, you can trade a coin for any good, two of the same goods for one of another good, or three goods for one coin. And you'll see this symbol a lot on traveler cards too. Each round is played the same way. First, flip over their top traveler card on the end. Each traveler has a different power that will affect all players in this round. So read the bottom of the card out loud for everyone and do what it says. This one says, all month long, all four valley locations provide apples in addition to what they show. Place one apple from the supply in each location as a reminder until the month ends. So for this round, all four of these locations provide apples in addition to what they show. So we will put one apple in each location to remind us that we get an apple in addition to what it shows whenever we go here. Then everyone roll your family dice and put them at the top of your home board, but don't change them. If you're playing the Kickstarter version, the paw prints are just ones. Next, everyone puts their four workers into any of the locations on the board. Each of these circles with a wooden border is a different location you can place your workers. Multiple players can put workers in the same location, but you can't put more than one of your own workers in a location. Everyone places their workers at the same time, and you can move them around and change them as much as you want until you're happy with where your workers are. We'll talk about what each location does at the end of the video, but on your turn, you're going to combine your two dice with the four white dice and assign them to the locations with your workers in order to get resources. When you place your workers, you already know what your family dice are for that round, but the white dice haven't been rolled yet. And you also need to pay attention to how many dice each location requires, because you only have six dice to spend. So this one requires three dice and this one requires two. That's just five dice from just these two locations. And if they have a pound sign like this, that means any number dice. And the rule book explains all the different requirements if you have any questions. Once everyone has their workers where they want them, the first player rolls the four white village dice and puts them on the hilltop. All the players will use these four dice on their turn without changing their values. Then, starting with the first player and going clockwise, one at a time, players are going to combine their two family dice with the four village dice and assign them to the locations with their workers. You can mix and match the village and family dice any way you want, and you can move them around until you have them where you want them. If you have any lessons learned tokens, you can use those to change the value of a dice up or down by one number, but just set them beside the dice. Don't actually change them, since all the players use the same dice. 
Once you're happy with your dice placement, resolve each location in any order you want. So I was doing the three or under, and I got a one, so I get a wood and an apple. Apple? Anytime you get resources, just put them next to your board. And when you resolve a location, put that worker back on your board so you know it's been resolved. And at the end, I had a five, which gets me a book. And here I put a one, so it lets me draw two face down cards. You get a lesson learned token for every worker you don't resolve. So since I didn't get a two, I don't get that resource, but I do get a lesson learned token. And I can use this on a later turn to change my dice up or down by one number. After you resolved all of your locations, you can craft comforts that you have in your hand by paying the resources shown on the card. Once you craft a comfort, put it face up next to your home board. You don't get points for just having comforts in your hand. You have to craft them to get the points. And be sure to pay attention to what you have, because some comforts work together to give you extra points if you have both of them, like stew and bread. Once you've crafted everything you want to, put your family dice back on your home board, then put the village dice back on the hilltop without changing them. Then it's the next player's turn, and they're gonna do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put my home dice with my village dice, and then I'm going to start here. I'm going to put the three here because it's three or under, and I'm gonna put these two here because this one requires exactly two dice that are five or lower. And then I'm going to put this red four here so I can do this and get the two rocks. And then I'm going to put this white six here. And I'll start by getting the wood and the apple when I'm resolving it. And then I'm going to get the two wood, the two mushrooms, and the apple. And put them next to my family board. And then I'm going to get the two rock tokens. And this one lets me take one of the face-up cards. I think I'm going to take this card, which is candles. And then once you take a card from a face-up supply, you slide all the cards down and then refill it. So I was able to resolve all of my workers so I don't get a lesson learned token. But now that I'm done with that part of my turn, now it's time for me to craft something. And I don't actually have the resources to craft anything yet, but let's pretend that I had a yarn. Then I could craft the toboggan card, which is two wood and a yarn. And then later in the game, if I have a muffler, which is apparently Canadian for scarf, then I get two extra points. Now let's talk about how each location works. The valley has four locations that change every round. The bottom of the location shows the dice requirements, and the top shows the resources you get. So this location requires three dice that are all the same, and you get three coins for it. This location requires exactly three dice that add up to 11 or more, and you get three logs and an apple. This location requires exactly two dice that add up to 10 or more, and you get a wheat, an apple, and a yarn. And this location requires three dice that are all even numbers, and you get four wheat. And the back of the rule book shows all the requirements for the different locations. The river gives you stone and coins. There's three locations separated by these notches. You only need to assign the dice for the location you're in, not all three and you only need to assign one dice. So here, I would assign a six and get a stone and a coin. Here, I would assign either a one or a two and get two stones, and here I would assign a five, a four, or a three and get one stone. The Owl's Nest has two locations that let you get comfort cards. Here, you can assign any one dice to take one of the face-up cards into your hand. Then slide all of the cards to the right of the empty space down and flip over a new card. Here you can assign a one or a two to draw two cards from the deck, or a three through a six to draw one card from the deck. But you can't take face-up cards from this location. You have to draw from the deck. In the workshop, you assign a dice to build an improvement from the ladder. You can build any improvement in a spot equal to or lower than the die you assign. So if you assign a four, you can take a card from the four, three, two, or one spot. But you have to pay the resources shown when you take the card. If you don't have the resources, you can't take it but you can't spend resources you earned earlier in the same round. When you take an improvement, slide the cards above it down to fill the space and put a new card in the top slot. If the card says to take a special token, like the almanac or wheelbarrow, take those from the supply and keep them on your home board to use in later rounds. 
You can't build more than one of the same improvement, and once you build an improvement, you have to put the lowest cottage from your home board on it. So you can only build four total improvements in the game. If you build a glade, which has a square space with a dice on it, put it above the board and put your cottage on it to show that it's yours. You don't assign workers here, but players can assign family dice to these spots on their turn. Each glade has different rules and benefits, so check each one to see what it does. In the market, you can assign a dice of any value and do as many trades as you want, as long as you have the stuff you need to trade. You can trade one coin for any good, two matching goods for one good, or any three goods for one coin. And remember, coins, books, and lessons learned are not goods. And last is the inn. Each round, there's a different traveler here that gives benefits based on the dice you assign. If the benefit has a green arrow with a multiplier on it, you can do it up to that many times. If it shows a dice with a question mark, you can do it up to the number of times on the dice you assign. So if I assign a two here, then I can do this two times. Anytime you spend resources, they go back into the supply. And resources are limitless. If they run out, there's multiplier tokens you can use. Once everyone has gone, it's time to set up for the next round. Discard the top forested meadow card and discard the face-up traveler card. Then rotate the river dial one notch clockwise. Discard the far left card from the owl's nest, slide the other cards over, and put a new card in the right slot. Then discard the bottom improvement card, slide the other cards down, and put a new card in the top space. Pass the first player token in the village dice to the next player clockwise, and then start the next round. The game continues until the last valley cards are discarded at the end of the eighth round, or the sixth if you chose to play a shorter game. After the last round, players can craft any remaining comforts from their hand, as long as they have the resources. You can also store resources on comforts that allow that, like the bookshelf. To store a resource, simply move it from your supply onto that card. Then it's time to score. Flip your home board over to use the backside as a scoring track. Put any remaining cottages on the topmost cottage slots. Then use one of your workers for your scoring markers. Each comfort and improvement card has a score in the top left corner, and some have bonuses at the bottom if you meet certain requirements. Add up the score from all of your comfort cards and improvements. Then add the points from your empty cottage slots. And lastly, score two points for each leftover book you have, one point for each leftover coin, and one point for each set of three resources you have, and sets don't have to be the same kind of resource. Whoever has the highest score at the end of the game wins. If there's a tie, then all the tied players win. And that's Creature Comforts. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, hit that like button, and check out some of our other videos too. See you later. Bye!